So if you guys are looking at 7 pi over 8, they're basically asking you, is it positive or negative? All right? Now, what we learned last class period was that the cosine of an angle is equal to the coordinate point, which is, you know, actually, it doesn't really matter. That represents, though, the x coordinate when we're talking about the unit circle, right? For points on that unit circle. We know that it's related to that x value. So first of all, we need to graph 7 pi over 8. Well, we know here's the initial side because we're in standard form. We have an x and a y axis. That is our initial side. Now we need to rotate it 7 pi over 8. So if we think about that in terms of a circle, we know that all the way around a circle is pi, correct? So if we're looking at this in terms of pi, well, remember when you have a candy bar, right? You cut it up into eighths. Eight eighths is the same thing as a full candy bar, correct? So I can rewrite this as 8 pi over 8. Does that make sense? It's just my full candy bar cut into eight different pieces. So I need to cut. So half of this circle is really like a full pi. So I need to cut that into eights. So here's half, fours, eights. It's not really good uh, distribution. One kid gets a lot bigger piece than the other kids, right? But I try to do my best. So now, if I rotate my angle from my standard, from my initial side to here, that's 1 pi over 8. Here would be 2 pi over 8. 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, 6 pi. And they want us to go to 7 pi. So therefore, that is my terminal side. Does everybody see or agree or want me to re-explain? OK, yes, no, maybe so. So that's my terminal side. And they're basically, they're asking for Let's just think about this as a point on the unit circle. Would that point be a negative for x or a positive? A negative. Since it's in the second quadrant, we know x is negative, right? So I don't even remember what the question was asking. It's just saying, um, just determine if it's positive or negative. OK, well, it's negative. And that's basically it. Does that make sense? So you have to understand how to graph it, graph the angles, which I know that graphing degrees would be a lot easier